LSE offers around 170 different programmes for our graduate students. We have a single diploma programme. We have a very large number of taught master's degrees, which range from 10 months through to 22 months, two-year masters. We have executive programmes, MPA, Master of Public Administration programmes. We also have doctoral programmes, MPhil, PhD programmes in all of our departments and all of our research institutes. So we've tried to make the application process as straightforward as possible. You apply directly on the LSE website. That allows a student to apply for two programmes at the school, a first choice and a second choice. Applications are typically open in October. We normally get about 25,000 applications each year and the crucial point is to apply early. We're looking for a history of academic achievement, so we need to see transcripts, the most recent transcript uh, with their up-to-date grades. We're looking for two academic references. Personal statements are a key part of the application form. We're looking at you for about 1,500 words, 1,500 words. We want you to show that you understand what you're applying for. It should tell us a little bit about your motivation for doing the course and your academic background and interests. You have the opportunity to also submit supporting documents as part of your application, so these are extra things that you might want us to know about. So in addition to the regular graduate application form, a research applicant would also be expected to supply a research proposal detailing an outline of what they wish to, to write their thesis on, and with that an example, a sample of their written work, including some of their teachers' comments. Unlike many universities, we, we, we don't have a deadline. You know, we open in October, we don't say it's the 1st of March, you must apply by. We, we have rolling admissions. Rolling admissions means that as soon as, a pro, so as, soon as we filled the places on a programme, we close it. Which is why in all our literature you will find that we emphasise to apply early. So different programmes at the LSE have slightly different entrance requirements um, and it's worth checking the website and the graduate prospectus just so you know exactly what's going on for your specific programme. Having said that, generally speaking, a minimum entry requirement is roughly a 2-1 from a UK university or its overseas equivalent. So something around that kind of level or better would be what we'd be looking for there. A student whose prior education uh, before they join LSE hasn't been delivered in English will be required to submit an English language test score. This is subsequent to their application being considered. It doesn't need to accompany their application. We accept a wide range of different English language test scores, the most common, uh, commonly supplied being IELTS or, or TOEFL. Full details again on the LSE website. Some programmes require a GRE or a GMAT score. That's something that you can submit as part of your application. When assessing an application, one of the school selectors will be looking for two principal qualities. They're looking for students who in the application can demonstrate both academic ability, sufficient to allow them to complete a very rigorous degree at the school, but also a demonstration of what they will contribute to LSE. We're looking for students who won't simply benefit from the great education that we can provide, but will sit in our classes, in our seminars, and contribute something back from the, their passion uh, their own academic backgrounds, their own perspectives on those subjects. So it's very much a two-way relationship.